I added 7 million gold to my Squad Busters account and we're going to be spending a ton of it on plaza decorations. So we're here inside of my plaza and as you can see I've got 7.4 million gold. So we've got the gold, we're going to populate all these decoration spaces. You can see I've got the, ska, the, the Kaiju statue and we have got that little statue there from reaching the download pre-registered requirements. And we've got a Squad League statue and I think that Squad League statue should have your squad league placement on it. I just want to say I started a brand new YouTube channel because I can't stop playing this amazing game. I stream and upload videos over there several times a week. The addicting game, Raid Shadow Legends, and he's actually the sponsor of today's video. Join me on my raid journey by checking out my QR code or link in my description and start that adventure with me. So thank you to Raid for sponsoring today's video. Now is the perfect time to start Raid because of all the OP rewards you can get your hands on, such like the Summer Tavern event to win real life prizes such as gaming consoles, smartphones, Amazon gift cards, all worth $5,000. You can also get OP legendaries to use in game too. This is a special summer tavern mini game running from June the 10th to July the 10th. Download raid using my QR code or link in the description. Go to summertavern.palladium.com. Enter your raid ID and start searching for hidden items. Not only that, a free two month YouTube premium subscription is up for grabs. And all you need to do is download raid before July the 17th, play for at least five days and hit level 20 within 30 days. But wait, there is more. There is a Monkey King event where you guys can get a huge head start by getting a legendary champion for free. That legendary champion is Sun Wukong. He is insanely good. He is an attack type champion with really strong abilities. A huge asset to any Raid Shadow Legends players team. And you guys have the chance to get him for free right now. Simply download Raid Shadow Legends using my link or scanning the QR code. And once you have done that, enter the promo code Monkey King to claim him in game. Please note you only have 72 hours to redeem him after downloading and installing Raid and it is only applicable to new players. But using my code will also get you 200,000 silver, 1 champion which is TRL, 1 energy refill, 1 1 day XP booster, 1 skill tone which is epic and after reaching level 25 you will get 200,000 silver, 1 champion which is wreck the draft, 1 energy refill, and 1 1 day XP booster and 1 skill tone which again is epic. Trust me, you won't regret it. And when you do download Raid Shadow Legends, join my clan in game, which is Tomo Empire, so we can enjoy the game together. Maybe it will at the end of the season, who knows? That might be an idea for the dev team. We have got 238 hammers. We have got all these items in the shop. Obviously, I haven't got enough space to buy everything, but we're going to buy the epic stuff because the epic stuff's better. Am I right? Um, what, we've got 2,500. So they're all two. 1500 and we're going to populate this plaza see what it looks like at the end and see if it was worth it and see how, how much gold it actually actually cost to do so i hope it doesn't cost 7.4 million gold but we're going to have a look and see what we're going to put in that first space and we are going to get all these epics so we might as well just start from the top we don't have enough I Oh my goodness, 226,200 gold. So it does cost a pretty penny to get these um, statues. I'll put him there. And then we'll go for the next one. Statue. Next statue is the Mighty Mech. Oh, these red bosses on Beach World. <laughs> There's such a pain. You don't have enough coins. That one's actually slightly cheaper. Why is that? I'm going to put that one there. We have got a bush there. Then we're going to go for the next epic statue, which is the Elixir Golem. I think that's my favourite out of the lot. Let me know which is your favourite one in the comment section. If you do like this video, please drop me a like. And if you want to see more Scubbusters content, feel free to subscribe. Always appreciate it, my friends. So place him there. Hey, that looks pretty cool, I think. I think that is the best one so far. I do have a, a bit of a... A soft place for kaiju. I do like the old kaiju. And look at this as well. 5 past 3. I do have a video on this. Explaining why I think the plaza time is 5 past 3. I'll link that in the comment section if you want to check that out. Quite a fun squad law video. Just a bit of insight there. But this is eating my gold getting these. Next statue. Ooh, roll ghost. We've got a, another quarter of a million. That is a ton of gold. Oomph. I think we'll put the epic statues together. 
And then what was the next one? Golem. Oomph. So I've got the Golem statue. Place him there. Hey, that one's quite cool as well. I do quite like that one. Golem or Elixir Golem. I think the Elixir Golem, because I am a Clash Mini guy. And the Elixir Golem was in Clash Mini. And that's what it reminds me of. Clash Mini memories. Next statue. I'll go for the robot. Another cool one. I just really wish, you know, I really wish these statues added some sort of value to your plaza. So, like, you could get one that give you some gold every hour or something like that. Just to make it a bit more valuable. Or, like I say, the squad league statue gives you your squad league placement. But not looking too shabby. We've got all these statues. And we've got one space left there. I think we've got all the epic. And what is epic? Oh, the little duckies! Or do I want a simple fountain? Or a, I'll go for the duck pool. Oh, that yarn's much cheaper. That one is much cheaper. We'll place the ducky pool there. Them, them first statues are super, so expensive. You could see the price difference there. That is insane. And how, how we're looking? I think we're looking pretty cool. Oh, I wish we could rotate them. Can we rotate them? We can't rotate them. Oh, that would be a good little uh, addition as well. If we could rotate them. I sort of want my kaiju facing the other way. The same way as my other ones. Look at they're all facing forward, apart from Kaiju, he's sort of facing to the side. That is gonna bug me, that is gonna bug the life out of me. At the very least, Dev Team, if you do watch this video, give us the option to, to rotate them. What can we put here? Let's have a look at the decos. Can you buy two of the You can't buy two of the same either. Purple banner, bubble cannon, that's cool. We'll have that one. And we'll place that at the front. And then we need one for there. Which, which was the other one I liked? The snowman! want to have the snowman that is cool as well i'm gonna put the snowman at the front then we've got spaces at the back we've got these little bushes commons aren't the best we'll have the banner that's pretty cool and i want the arcade machine as well because i'm a gamer so we've got to have the arcade machine in there we'll get this populated and then we can get a better look at the end to see what it looks like arcade cabinet let's go boom be cool if you played a mini game like Clash Mini. <laughs> oh, we've got to have the baby drag, I think. I'll have the baby drag. Put that one in the middle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Go back to the statues because there was a mole one I did want. I'll have the mole. Oomph. We'll put him there. And then there was another statue I wanted. And that was the spike one. <gasps> My goodness. Yeah, uh, that's them ones. And we've got one little space left up here. What's it gonna be for the last slot? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna leave that slot free. And for anyone that watches this video, let me know which decos I should put there. And the most like comment I'll get. And I'll place that deco in the last slot. That is our plaza. And that's what it looks like when you've spent a ton of gold on it. I don't know. I do like the fact you can place items there. I wish we could rotate them for the start. I wish some of the, at least some of the items give you some benefit, like let you collect gold and stuff. Um, maybe give you a little portal energy. Things like that. But it does look cool. It does look a lot better populated than them blank spaces. And it is quite expensive as well if you're just going to buy them outright. So it's up to you guys what you do. There is better ways to spend your gold, but I am a max account. I do have all ultra units. So I haven't really got anything else to spend my gold on. But there we have it. A plaza with all the epic decos placed in place. And it does look a bit more homely. It does look a bit better. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video.